This program contains sexually explicit dialogue. This program and Oxygen Media do not advocate or encourage any obscene or criminal behavior. Viewers are cautioned that laws vary in different national and state jurisdictions. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the Grandpa Sex Show, where I dispense advice about all manner of fornication. I'm 87 years old. I've been stupid since the Teapot Dome scandal. I ought to know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go to our first caller, Lisa. What is your question? I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a lady in my 50s, um, and I'm a divorced woman. And I would like to know what kind of pleasurable devices you would recommend um, for someone in my situation. Yeah, the pleasurable device I would recommend is my dick. So why don't you come on down to the studio and I'll fix you right up. You hop on there and you'll be all set and ready to go. That was an easy question. I hope all the other questions will be that simple. Oh, and by the way, don't believe that myth that a penis has to be erect in order to be effective. I've pleasured plenty of ladies with my little semi-erect fella down there. there no, plenty of satisfied customers. Nothing to worry about. All right, time for our next caller, Sandra. Uh, what can I do you for? Well, I love watching your show. You probably love watching me while you're giving yourself the old cucumber treatment, right? Right. You should call my own personal phone sex line. That's 1-800-FLACID. I think you'll enjoy that a lot. Okay, uh, what is your question? Yeah, my question is, um, my fiancé wants to start doing anal sex, and mm. I have heard that it can cause um, involuntary bowel movements, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of I'm worried about it, you know? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Hell, when you're my age, everything can cause an involuntary bowel movement. I've had three of them just since I've been sitting here. So you might as well just poof away and get used to being incontinent because it's only a matter of time before you start crapping yourself anyway. That's just the way it is. All right, we got Michael on the line. My question is, uh, I've heard a lot, uh, a lot of these uh, new products that's out uh, uh, about penile, uh, for penile enlargement. Uh, what what uh, are these, these things, uh, these products, do, do they actually do what they claim? Uh, you just got a little inky dinky acorn, huh? Oh, it, it's really embarrassing. Yeah, I bet. Well, that penile enlargement stuff is a bunch of snake oil. It don't work. There's only one thing that works. Write this down. You take a piece of rope and you tie it to your schlong. Then you take the other end and you tie it to the bumper of your car. Then you have a friend get into your car and floor it. And you'll be a regular long dong silver in no time. Believe me there. All right, let's go to the next caller. I've been kind of friends with this guy for a long time, and we're talking about maybe becoming more. And um, he knows, and I've seen it through party tricks, that he's got a three-inch erection. And I don't know, I, I've never dealt with anything like that. Yeah, I know, your boyfriend just called here, and I fixed him right up. So don't worry about it. You'll have a smile on your face in no time. Okay, we have time for one last call. Yeah, I was just wondering, um, from what I heard, like, a lot of girls, they shave or wax their pubic hair. Is that safe? Like, is it okay to do? Of course it's okay. Nobody wants to fuck a lady Sasquatch. You gotta clear out that jungle from time to time. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna show you ladies the proper way to shave your cooches using this anatomically correct dolly. Now, the first thing you gotta do is, is get her pants off. Uh, they don't want to come off. Don't try to shave anything without taking the pants off first. Uh, this is tough. Uh, it's hard to get it. Yeah, she's like my ex-wife. Uh, she's got a nice pair of knockers, I'll tell you that. Come on. Well, you got to get the pants off. Just, just take my word for it. There we go. Once you get the pants off, the next step is to uh, get some shaving cream in there. You know, get a lot of shaving cream. Use lots of shaving cream right in there and then you just take your razor and you go to town in there just like that um, now you gotta be careful uh, you know you don't want to shave any of the ham out of the sandwich that would defeat the whole purpose 
So, uh, you know, be careful in there. But you, you got to get in there and get all that stuff out. If any of you ladies would like me to come over to your houses and provide this service, I'm more than willing to do that. Just let me know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. All right, that's all the time we have for the Grandpa Sex Show today. Join me next time when I will demonstrate the proper technique for cunnilingus. Later.